Hey everyone, it's John again, and today, for the second time today, I'm going to do another video on Normie. And the reason why I'm doing two videos is not because I've lost my mind and I've went absolutely crazy. It's just that I actually happen to have a viewer make a good suggestion on the channel on the last video there. I'll just show you that briefly. On the last one here, um, PW says, Hello John, great video, thanks very much. Um, how would you edit this script to add a few more commands to export the separate file? So for example, if you want to do a show run, show CDP neighbour detail show MAC address table and put them into separate files and I says look I've written this, I'll, well I read that comment, thought it was a good comment, went back, rewrote the script and I've uploaded it to uh, my github so if I just click this link here you'll actually get the script here but what I thought I'd do is I'd quickly just deploy it so you can see how to edit it to use as you please okay. So it's going to be a really short video just go in deploy this script and just briefly explain it so if we do an ls and we do um, a vim archive shows and it's pretty much the same script as before but it's a wee bit more complex in the fact that it's got some loops in there now so we've created these commands these are the commands that you're going to uh, put in so if you want to edit these just change them as you please so if you wanted to change this to um oh, going here if you wanted this to be show IP root, just change it that way and that's it. So that's all you need to do from your part, the script will do the rest for you. So I'll just put that back to show run. In fact, you know what, I'll add on an extra command, I'll just do that. So I'll just put a wee comma here and we'll actually add on a show IP root. So we'll have four commands. So we've now created this new directory called commander and it's basically going to lie within the date directory and effectively we're going to iterate through these commands by using a for loop and the value for each command is going to be cmd. So Every time it goes through, CMD will take this value, then it'll take this value, then it'll take this value. So effectively, once we go through the directories, we're going to create a directory each with the name of the show command. And within that directory, we're going to have eight files for each device, okay? So that's pretty much it. The main difference as well is that I've now changed from Napalm. I'm now using NetMiko to do this. And that's pretty much it, really. The script is quite similar to the last one, but like I said, I thought I'd just deploy it so you can see it. So. Um, so anyway, so like you can see, we don't actually have this config archive directory, but we will in a wee second, so we'll just do a python3. Oh, how about I actually change that, so we mistake there. That was me trying to edit out a vim and I put a colon there. python3 archive. And normally it's just going to go through all the commands that we did. I think it was four commands we gave it. It's going to go through all, create four directories within the date directory, and within those directories we're going to have eight separate files per directory for each device. There we go. So we've done ls. We've now got this config archive. Just clear this to bring it up. Now we've got this config archive, so let's go into it. And within that, we've got the day's date. So we'll be going to that again. Now ls, we've got a folder for each show run command taken within that date. Now just be aware that there actually is space in between here, so you'll actually need to escape the characters to get into the files, or just what I do is just use the tab key. So do a show, tab, uh, sorry, show, uh, or rather don't show cat. I need cat at first. Cat, show, and tab that and we'll do cdp neighbor so just do cd tab and i'll finish it there we go oh not cat cd john boy come on <laughs> right so and now you see within that folder we've actually got the eight devices so if i did a cat ar1 we're going to have the cdp neighbor detail for r1 if we did cat r7 that's the cdp neighbor detail actually i'll i'll less it so you can see it a bit better you need to go through it all, okay? And if we go back out, we do an ls, we could go into a cd show and do ip tab, go to the ip root, and we do a cat r3, this is the routing table for r3, we, and we cat r8, that's the one for r8. Go 
back out and like I say we could go into the show version so show V tab LS and we'll see the show version for R4 and that's it so it's pretty much it's all within a day and if I happen to run this tomorrow what would happen would be um, we'd have a second folder here with tomorrow's date on it and we could go into that and within that folder there would be the four folders for the four commands as directories and within each directory there will be eight text files for each device okay so that's pretty much the end of the video i just thought i'd just quickly upload this because like i say pw had the suggestion and i thought Do you know what maybe some other people might get some use out of it as well so why not so that's the end of the video thanks very much and i'll see you guys soon bye bye